Hello, we, I'm Sam Jamier, the uh, first director. We're getting into our uh, last week, uh, unfortunately. It's the 15th year of uh, New York Asian Film Festival. Once upon a time, we used to show films uh, with high school girls' heads exploding and everything. Uh, lots of bad things happening to bad and good people. And so that's kind of a return to this tradition. Uh, I've heard some of you might have been offended by some of the films we've shown before this year, past 15 years. It's a return to this tradition. It's a gross out movie, it's pretty extreme, but it actually has a decent storyline. So in this sense, I'd like to think it's actually an evolution. Uh, we have the director of this film, Hideo Sakaki, and to uh, introduce uh, Hideo Sakaki, my colleague Stephen Kremin will say a few words. Please welcome to the stage. Mr. Sakaki Hideo. Yes, Sakaki, uh, we watched his career for 20 years as an actor in his first movie, uh, This Window Is Yours. He's been directing films now for almost 10 years. This is his sixth feature, uh, Dharma, Kiyomachi Dharma. So what is the origin of this movie? Where did it come from? Uh, good, good evening. Thank you for coming tonight. Yes. This film is a long story, a long story, but the director of Maru no was not able to write a book. It was published in the book. It was so um, this film was based on a novel um, that was released online by um, Hiroyuki Maruno. Um, the reason why he uh, released the novel online was because uh, it was considered a banned work and he could not find a publisher for it. And uh, the author and I uh, met through Facebook and we decided that if it cannot be released as a book, why not make it into a movie? So, so of course, um, we thought that um, rather by making it into a film rather than a novel, we'd have more um, leeway and free, uh, freedom. But uh, that wasn't always the case in terms of uh, promotion in Japan and so on. So it's an unpublishable novel. Did you think it's an unfilmable film before you start the project? あの、そのまずメジャーな映画会社を出さない。お金を出さないっていうことだったんで、まずは自分がまあファミリーツリーという会社を作ってるので、そこを中心にやろうというのを自分で決めて、あとはもうスポンサーを自分で掻き集めた